But first, we continue to pay tribute to our area servicemen and women on this Veterans Day. We want to say thanks to a dedicated corps of uh, volunteers. Veterans are being honored not just today, but into December. That group is part of a national network that makes sure wreaths are laid at the graves of our fallen heroes. We thought it fitting on this Veterans Day to invite two local coordinators here to tell us about their mission and help get the word out about a call for volunteers. Welcome Rhonda Hunt and Joyce Swearock, coordinators for Wreaths Across America out of North Huntington. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So you guys do such a wonderful thing. Uh, tell us a little bit about the program, because this doesn't take place on Veterans Day. It actually happens in December. It happens on National uh, Wreaths Across America Day on December 15th, and it happens nationwide. There's over 1,500 cemeteries participating. So it's uh, volunteers from all ages help lay the wreaths on every veteran's graves at a participating cemeteries. Being involved, both of you, with this program for about two years, why do you find it so important to honor the military, our men and women who have lost their lives? We need to remember them and pay our respects to them and give them the thank you they deserve for uh, sacrificing the lives they did for their service. These wreaths, though, do not come cheap. No, the one wreath costs fifteen dollars. Um, and like we said, it is each cemetery is responsible for raising all the funds. We are with two cemeteries in North Huntington, Union and Immaculate Conception. And there's 2,150 veterans laid to rest at those cemeteries. Wow. So between the two of them, that's, that's a lot. Yes. So that adds up pretty quickly, $15 a piece. Yes. So what do you guys do in order to raise the funds in order to, to help in this process? We've held craft shows. We've had hot dog sales at Busy Beaver, um, raffle tickets we sell, um, just various vendor shows we go to that we set up a booth and we solicit donations from businesses and individuals. And these are live wreaths, we should yes, say, too. Yes, yes. So there's an upcoming craft show. Yes. Uh, tell us about that, because this is, this is one way to gain some of those funds. Yes, it is November 17th. It's in North Huntington at uh, VFW Post 781. It is from 10 to 3 p.m. And there is over 30 craft tables and vendor tables that will be there. So, and we will have our Chinese basket at raffle that sh will help us purchase more wreaths. I'd love to hear from both of you about how you got involved, how you heard about the program and, and knew that you wanted to be involved in this. Rhonda started it <laughs> here in North Huntington. Our son is in the military, so I've always wanted to do something like this. And Arlington was on my bucket list until Rhonda put out that call for help around here. And we're just so proud of our son and wanted to help all the veterans as much as we can. And what, what branch is your son in? He's in the Air Force. And still active? Yes, 22 years. Well, thank him for his service. Thank I know you. a lot of people um, just, you know, we, we want to appreciate our veterans, especially yeah. on the day and those who are still serving. And did you have a special connection? Is there a reason why you wanted to start up the program in here? In 2016, an uncle of ours who was um, killed in action in the Korean War, was, remains were never re found. But in 2016, they returned, found his remains and returned them to us. Wow. Um, and he is actually buried out in Arizona. But it's because of the uh, local community of veterans in there that they, we came close with. And they said every year they will go honor him at uh, his cemetery that I need. I wanted to give back. I wanted to help honor another veteran here. So you knew because you couldn't go out there right. to remember him personally. Somebody else was taking care of that. Right. You wanted to do the same for yes. other families. Yes. It's fantastic. So how can people help if they want to get involved, maybe volunteering or the craft fair? There is a website. They can go to reeseacrossamerica.org backslash P-A-U-C-N-H, and that will take them to our direct page link. You can make donations. You can sign up to become a volunteer, and that helps us out tremendously. Well, thank you, ladies, so much for everything you do and thank for joining you. us here on the couch this morning. Thank you. And come help support the Wreaths Across America program in our area. The craft show coming up this Saturday from 10 until 3 at the Norwin VFW. They would love to see you there and would also love to hear if you can help them volunteer. Lay wreaths on Wreaths Across America Day. Again, it's December 15th. You just heard that website. You can go to kdka.com slash PTL. We'll send you the direct link right there.